Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and it's finally time, I need your help with something. For the past three months I've been working really hard on something truly special, basically it's a complete full course that I'm releasing here as a free YouTube video. As usual, the project scope got kind of out of hand, the initial goal was to make a quick free two or three hour course, well in the end it ended up being over ten hours long. So it took much longer to make, but the great news is there's tons of awesome content for you to learn. I even uploaded the game to Steam, so you can right now go ahead onto the Steam page and add it to your wishlist. The game will launch at the same time as the course. It's targeted at both complete beginners and more intermediate users. It starts off really simple, just focus on the basics, and then over 45 lectures you will learn more and more complex things. And the way that I need your help is very simple. When you see this video on your YouTube timeline or the suggested videos, go ahead, click on it right away, then hit the like button and watch the video. That's it. I'll explain how that helps in a bit, but first here's some detail on what the free course is all about. The game is a kitchen management game. Now I chose this design for two reasons. One is because this actually involves quite a lot of systems which makes for a great learning project. You will learn Unity and C-sharp basics, how to make a character controller, test for collisions and interact with objects, how to use scriptable objects, shader graph and scene machine, how to handle game logic, spawning objects, moving them, using the new input system, doing some polish and tons more. After following this course and learning all of these techniques, you will be able to build all kinds of games on all kinds of genres. And very importantly, all of this will be built whilst writing good, high quality, clean code. Meaning that I will not be teaching you bad practices that you see in some beginner tutorials. I will be teaching you how to write good, high quality code and set up a good project structure. The code in this course is on the same level of quality as my Steam games and my paid courses. And the second reason is because the initial goal was to make a quick multiplayer course, so I chose a design that could support multiple players. But then of course I realized that people could be confused if I started from a pre-made game, it would be tough to follow a multiplayer course if the code base was all new to you. So then I decided to completely build this game from scratch in this massive free course. And then afterwards I will be publishing the second free course taking this game and making it multiplayer. Ideally I wanted to publish both the single player and the multiplayer videos at the same time, but I've been working like crazy and I'm only about to finish the single player portion. So that multiplayer video is still going to take a little bit, I'm hoping by the end of February since hopefully it should be simpler. Now here's a quick overview of the entire course. So first of all we're going to start completely from scratch by selecting a Unity version and creating a brand new project. With that new project we will then learn all about the basics of the Unity interface and set up a layout. Then the other important part is Visual Studio, which is where we're going to be writing all of our code. After that comes an extremely important lecture, all about coding style and naming rules. Like I said, the code in this course is on the same level of quality as my Steam games, so having proper naming rules and good code style is paramount. Next we're going to download and import all the assets that we're going to use in the course. Everything is included, so you can follow along with every step of the way. With the assets imported, we're going to set up some quick post-processing just to make the game look good. Then for our first piece of logic, we're going to make a simple character controller. With that logic working, we will then implement a proper character visual with the included assets. Next we're going to learn the basics of animation and the animator component, and with that we're going to make our player really come alive with some simple but really nice animations. Then we're going to install the Cinemachine package. This isn't actually used too much in this course, but I still wanted to include it because it is such a useful tool, so I do want you to know about it. After that comes another extremely, extremely important lecture with regards to writing some good clean code. We're going to do a nice refactor to replace the legacy input manager with the brand new input system. Learning how to refactor is an extremely important and very valuable skill that will massively improve the quality of your code. With that then, we're going to implement some nice collision detection to make sure our character doesn't walk through walls. Next we're going to create the very first kitchen counter and make a script to handle how to interact with it. Then we're going to learn all about C-sharp events and create a proper interact input. Next we're going to build a selected counter visual which will require us to learn about the extremely useful singleton pattern. With the counters working we're going to start working on the kitchen objects themselves. So these are going to be the ingredients and the plates. We're going to use scriptable objects to define all of the types. Then a very important part of our design is each kitchen object will have to be placed somewhere. So we're going to take some time to really think about the best way to achieve that, all while writing some good clean code. Next we're going to enable the player to pick up an object. In doing so we're going to learn about C-sharp interfaces. Then we're going to make a container counter. This is from where we can spawn new objects. With that we will enable the player to pick up objects and drop them anywhere where there's space. 
Then we're going to make the cutting counter. This one enables the player to cut an ingredient into slices. So to do that, we're going to make an alternate interact action. And for handling the cutting, we're going to once again use scriptable objects to define a proper cutting recipe. Then we're going to learn about a really awesome Unity feature, World Canvases, and use that to display a nice progress bar for our cutting progress. After that is a quick lecture, just going to make a very useful generic script to make any object look at the camera. Next, for another counter, we're going to build a trash bin. This is where the player can drop objects to destroy them. Then the stove counter. This one is going to be quite a bit complex. We're going to create recipes for cooking and for burning. We're going to learn how to make a basic state machine and handle timers. Next, we're going to make the plates counter. This is a simple counter that just spawns a bunch of plates. After that, we're going to make some custom logic on the plate to be able to hold other objects. With that logic working, we're going to build a complete visual for all the objects that can exist on the plate. Then make a nice UI element on the plate itself to showcase the icons of what exactly is on that plate. Afterwards, we're going to make the very last counter, the delivery counter. This is where we drop the completed plates. And in this lecture, we're also going to learn about the Unity shader graph and make a quick, simple custom shader. Then we're going to build the delivery manager class that generates the recipes that the customers are requesting. Next, we're going to build a UI to showcase the waiting recipes. After that comes something pretty crucial. We're going to add some music and then add some sound effects for all kinds of game actions. With that, the game will be almost done. So next, we're going to build a proper game start and a game end. Then make a simple main menu and handle scene loading. After that, handle creating a basic pause window. Then make an options menu, enable the player to modify the audio levels and rebind keys. After that, we're going to enable menu navigation with a controller. And in the end, as usual, comes the polish stage. So we're going to add all kinds of small tweaks and effects to make the game feel really great. Like I've said many times, polish is what separates good games from great games. So as you can see, building this game requires learning of tons of different systems. So that makes this an excellent learning project. That's great news whether you're a complete beginner or even if you're a more intermediate user. Again, with a huge focus on writing good, high quality, clean code and some good project structure, whatever your skill level, I'm sure you will learn a ton from this course. Now I made the decision to release this as a completely free course. In the end, it ended up being a ton more work than I initially planned, but still I'm sticking with that decision. Obviously I could have made this a paid course since it really is super high quality, but I'm perfectly content with sticking with my original plan and making it free. That way the course will hopefully reach many more people and help out anyone who wants to learn how to make games, whether they have money or not. So I'm perfectly okay with making this a free course. All I want is for it to reach as many people as possible. So like I said, I need your help and the way you can help me is very simple. Next Monday when the video comes out and you see this thumbnail, go ahead and click on it right away. Then click on the like button and just watch the video. If you don't know how the YouTube algorithm works, the main metrics are click through rate, watch time and likes. So if you click on the thumbnail as soon as you see it, then you watch the video for about 10 minutes and click the like button. If that happens, the video will have a high click-through rate, a high view duration and high interactions, which will signal to the YouTube algorithm to push the video. That's really it. By just doing those tiny actions, it doesn't cost you anything and you will be helping me a ton, as well as helping all the people who will hopefully get this free high quality course suggested to them. So that's it, that's how you can help me. The course will be completely free for everyone, but I did spend a bunch of money hiring a 3D artist, musician, sound designer, and a bunch more. I needed to do that so that I had the rights to distribute the assets so you can follow along. So if you'd also like to help me at least break even on this project, as usual, you can pick up one of my regular paid courses. If you're a beginner, then watching this course and afterwards picking up the turn-based strategy course would be an excellent learning path. That course is for more advanced users, so it's a perfect follow-up for the free course. Alternatively, my Ultimate Unity Overview course is very useful for anyone using Unity. It has over 15 lectures, each covering a different tool or feature of the engine. Or if you prefer exploring making games with visual scripting, I also have a course on that. Or you can learn how to make a nice Build a Defender game. And for this course, the Kitchen Chaos game, like I said, the video is completely free, although I will also make it a regular course on my website. But I want to be very, very clear, there's absolutely no difference between the free and the paid version. Both have exactly the same content, there is absolutely nothing behind a paywall. I just made that just in case some of you find the course helpful and you can afford it and you'd like to support directly. And of course the YouTube video has regular YouTube ads, whereas the paid version has no ads. But all of the content is exactly the same, so consider that essentially a donation for those of you who can afford it. Either way, I want to thank you all for being here watching the videos on this channel. 
It's almost 5 years since I started doing this, in total almost 700 videos, so this has been a crazy journey. Thank you to all of you who have been here since the very beginning, or even if you just joined recently. This channel only exists because all of you watch the videos. And of course, a special thank you to all of the Patreon supporters and channel members. Thank you if you've ever picked up one of my courses, or bought my games, or my asset, or just bought anything through my affiliate links. It's only because of all of you that I can afford to dedicate 3 months of my life making a really awesome super high quality course that will be completely free for everyone. So once again, thanks so much, stay tuned for the video coming out on Monday, and I'll see you next time.